Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to cover areas of performance, otherwise known as AOPs, the segmentation scheme for the analysis methodologies of the pack processes for training and development, learning, and knowledge management. PACT is an acronym, performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. The second part of analysis in the PAC processes is performance analysis. And we start off by doing performance analysis, not by listing whatever tasks that come top of mind or whatever. We go through a systematic process of identifying the areas of performance. And the goals, and these are chunks of the job, the major chunks of the job. Addy is an example of the major chunks of a process. Analysis isn't design, and design isn't development, and development isn't implementation, and implementation isn't evaluation. These are separate and distinct, and what you're trying to do with something like that is to minimize the gaps and the overlaps. Another example for this is the ABC company account representatives where that job is broken into these areas of performance. This will allow us to later on dive deep into each one of these areas and get all of the granular analysis data that's appropriate for our downstream uses. And we won't get exhausted by our first efforts and then get tired and lazy and then forget about other aspects of the job. So this lays out the map of everything that we're going to go get before we start going to get it. One of the processes that I use to facilitate groups of master performers and other subject matter experts is to place a stake in the ground. Identify some big chunk of the performance and put that on the flip chart or middle of the screen, how, whatever mechanism you're using to gather this and meet with your analysis team. But I place that first stake and for example, somebody might say, hey, you're an instructional designer, uh, do you do design? And the answer would of course be yes, or hopefully yes. And so design gets written down, and that gets in the center. And now the analyst and facilitator of the analysis team has a choice to go either upstream from that or downstream from that. And let's just arbitrarily say I'll go upstream first. So I would ask, okay, before you do this design thing, is there anything that you do prior to that? And the group of folks assembled here would say, well, we do analysis before we do design. So then I'd write that on the flip chart or the screen um, before design. So I'd have one, two, analysis, design. And then I would continue to go upstream and ask, is there anything that you do before analysis? Well, this would, of course, cause some uproar here. Some people would say, nope, that's the beginning of it. That's the Addy model, analysis and design. Others, like me, would say, oh, no, not so fast. We do client meetings and project planning and management kinds of things before we start doing analysis so there would be a block or a circle or something drawn and then we would have project planning followed by analysis followed by design I would ask is there anything that you do before that project planning step and they might say no that's the beginning of it okay so now we go back to design where we started where we placed the first stake in the ground and now we go downstream when you're done with the design what do you do next well development and then depending on your model you would continue with the Addy framework, or like me, you would do something a little bit different because I've never really bought into Addy as the perfect project management framing device. Now, another aspect of this is that that's one performance cycle. Let's say that this instructional designers do Addy. Let's just say it's Addy. Do they do anything else besides Addy? The analyst asks the analysis team assembled to generate the analysis data. And folks there might say, well, some of us do delivery and some of us don't. Some of us only do instructional design kinds of work as represented by the Addy model. And others of us also do delivery. Well, there's another work stream there. So then we would continue with that. So uh, you do delivery, so can we start with a stake in the ground that you do delivery yes of course is there anything that you do before delivery well we do room setup or we do uh, marketing and publications if it's an online kind of event it all depends on what kind of delivery we do aha there's more than one kind of delivery and so we can focus on that so it's important to get out the multitude of work streams 
Um, but often groups can't think of that when you're starting, so I would just arbitrarily start off with give me one of the major portions of your job, and I would look to the job title or whatever I knew about the job beforehand, and be somewhat suggestive. And of course, it's important not to be afraid to be wrong. If you're afraid that you might be wrong, then you as a facilitator in this methodology here are going to struggle. I'm always volunteering things. Sometimes I'm volunteering things that I think are right, and sometimes I'm volunteering things that I know are wrong, simply to stimulate the group so they'll take over. I'll even go right down the wrong thing on the flip chart here and then agitate everybody, and then they'll go, oh no, that's not it, it's really, and then they start the dialogue. Part of the methodology here is to engage the analysis team members and let them own the content. I tell the groups, I own the process, you own the content, and then I've got to do things in my facilitation approaches that exemplify that, that they truly do own the content and I simply own the process in terms of what are we going to do now at this time and when are we done and what are we going to do after that. I hope this video and this video series is helpful to you in your practice of performance-based training and development, learning and knowledge management. I've been practicing, publishing and presenting on these topics since the early 1980s. My more recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.